So if you're shooting at too wide of a focal length, the face looks too skinny and pulled back. And if you go too tight or too narrow of a focal length, it starts to compress the face and widen it out too much. Notice Lauren's hair. Look how thin it looks at 16 millimeter, and it looks like a lion's mane at 200 millimeter. Look how long and skinny the face looks at 16 versus flat and wide at 200. Notice the field of view at 16. We see all three walls of the room, but at 200 millimeter, we're so tight that there's no context to clue the audience into where she is. And at 16 millimeter, space is being expanded so the back wall looks like it's 20 feet away. And at 200 millimeter, it's compressing space to make the back wall feel like it's right behind her head, just a couple feet away. When in reality, she was about 10 feet away from the back wall, so somewhere in between those two perceptions. But let's now watch all those focal lengths back to back, and you can see how much of a difference your focal length makes in image distortion, field of view, and background compression. So keep those three factors in mind when choosing your focal length.